This is a tutorial for notes on solving systems of equations by graphing. Solving a system of equations means taking two or more equations and finding the solution. That'd be an x and a y coordinate, or solutions, that meaning many, being an equation, y equals mx plus b, that work for both equations if it exists. Let's try an example. We have y equals 2x minus 2 and y equals negative x plus 1. We'll plot this on the coordinate plane. We have a y-axis and an x-axis. Both of these equations are written in slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. So we start at our plus b, which is negative 2. And so we put that on our y-axis. And then follow our slope. Our slope is 2, so that means for every 1 in our x direction, positive 1 in our x direction, we go 2 in our y direction. And we'll graph that line. Then we'll go to our next line, y equals negative x plus 1. We'll start at the plus 1 on our y-axis, that's our y-intercept, and we'll follow the slope. The slope is negative 1, that means every 1 positive we go in our x, we have to go 1 negative in our y. Now we see where they cross, they cross at x equals 1, y equals 0, and that's our solution. That means that if x equals 1, y equals 0 for both of these equations. And let's try it out. If I replace x with 1, 2 times 1 is 2, then 2 minus 2 gives me 0. That works for our first equation. And for our second equation, if I replace x with 1, I get negative 1 plus 1, which is 0. So it works for both equations. This is the solution. 1 comma 0. Let's try another example. y equals 4x minus 1 and y equals 4x plus 2. We'll start with our first equation, y equals 4x minus 1. We go to the y-intercept at negative 1 along our y-axis. 0, negative 1. Then we follow our slope. Our slope is 4, so for every 1 positive you go in your x, you go up 4 in your y. And graph that line. Our second line, we'll start at our y-intercept of 2, and the same slope. Every one positive we go in our x, we have to go up 4 in our y. And so we look at both of these lines, and we see that they never cross. If they never cross, the solution doesn't exist. We say no solution. And what that means is the lines don't cross. There's one more example that shows the three different cases. 4x plus 2y equals 4, and 4 equals negative 2x plus 2. Let's start with our first equation. This is written in standard form, so we try to block out the x and y and plot along the axes. So if y equals 0, I have 4x plus 0 equals 4, or x equals 1. So 1, 0 is a solution. If x equals 0, I have 4 times 0, that goes away. So I just have 2y equals 4, or y equals 2. And I graph that line. Then I have an equation written in slope-intercept form. y equals negative 2x plus 2. I start at plus 2, my y-intercept. And my slope is negative 2. So that every one I go positive in my x, I go down 2 in my y. And graph that line. And I can see that they overlap. That means it's infinite solutions. And it creates the same line. You could also say the solutions are y equals negative 2x plus 2. I write the solutions in slope-intercept form. Now these are the three different cases. We had one solution, no solution, and infinite solutions. Let's try out some common ones. And that would be if there's one solution and talk about graphing in slope-intercept form. y equals 1 half x plus 5. Remember that if we're graphing in slope-intercept form, it has y equals a number times x plus or minus another number. That's slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. You're going to start with the plus b. And that goes along your y-axis at 0 plus b. 
So for our first one is plus five. I'm gonna put that along the y-intercept and then follow my slope. My slope is one over two. So I'm gonna use the m as a fraction. That's the change in x, that's two, under the change in y. If it's negative, you go down, positive, you go up. So this is positive one, so I'm gonna go up one and graph this line. You can continue with the slope, and that does help for graphing because you have to be very precise when you're solving a neat system of equations by graphing. So make many dots along this line, continue the, continue the slope. Now we'll graph the second equation, y equals negative 3x minus 2. We'll start at negative 2, that's along my y-axis. And follow the, with the slope of negative 3, which is negative 3 over 1. Every 1 I go positive in my x, I go negative 3 in my y, and I can see where the next point's going to be, and I can follow the slope to continue with it. So follow the slope 1 and negative 3, and make sure that my line is exact. Now, where these two cross is my solution negative 2 comma 4. And I can try that for each one of these equations. If x equals negative 2, I have 1 half times negative 2, which is negative 1. And negative 1 plus 5 does give me 4. For my second equation, negative 3 times negative 2 is going to be positive 6. And positive 6 minus 2 is 4. So it works for both equations. Let's try two more examples out quickly so you can see more. y equals 2x plus 1 and y equals negative x minus 5. For our first equation, we're going to start at plus 1 and then go a slope of 2. So every 1 positive you go in your x, you go 2 positive in your y and create that line. For our second equation, we're going to start at negative 5. A negative x means for every one positive you go in your x, you go negative one in your y and create that. Now my solution is going to be right here and I can count it out at negative two and negative three. Let's try one more. y equals x plus five and y equals negative x plus one. For our first equation I'll start at positive five and my slope is 1 over 1. So for every 1 positive I go in my x, I go 1 positive in my y. Then create that line. My second equation, y equals negative x plus 1. I'll start at positive 1. And every 1 positive I go in my x, I go negative 1 in my y. Now my solution is going to be negative 2 comma 3. Please be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I hope you have a great day.